Gopayam is a part of Renong province, around 1 hour and 20 minutes away from Bangkok to Renong Airport. The ferry departs from Renong Pier, which we found very chaotic and confusing. You can find more information, useful tips and related links in the video description. Our pre-arranged speedboat took us 20 minutes to Gok Payam. There is no ATM machine on this island, so make sure you have enough cash beforehand. The roads on Gopiam seem to be suitable for bicycles and scooter bikes, but not for cars. Even this little three-wheeler vehicle seems to be a bit too deep for the road. And finally, we arrived at Payama Beach Resort. There should be plenty of tour packages during high season that would take you to nearby islands like Got Chang, Mukot Surin, and other stunning islands in Myanmar like the Emerald Card or Coxcom Island and the Hoshu Island that should depart from Ranong. It is very important to check the information and book your tour packages prior to your visit because you might need visa to visit Myanmar. We missed all of that because we thought they'd do trips every day, but turns out it's only available on Saturday once a week. Although we failed to go to Mugot Surin and Emerald Heart Island, it is not bad at all to get stuck in Kopayam. We took a less enthusiastic option to other nearby islands instead. As the wind starting to pick up, the crew found it difficult to anchor the boat at Japan Island, which was supposed to be our second island. After a dozen times of attempt, they gave up and took us back to Gopayam for snorkeling instead. We were slightly disappointed, but we'd rather be safe. Although it was a pity that we couldn't go to Mukasurin, but we sure did have fun on this trip and get to see some interesting corals in marine life like this guy. a scooter bike from the hotel to Payam Kabani on the next day without any helmet or skill. <laughs> Me as the driver and my husband in the back seat, we held on for dear life to the other end of Buffalo Bay. We liked the food here very much, we kept coming back to this restaurant over and over again, 
and we both agreed that Payam Cabana is the best restaurant on the island. On low tide, it looked as though this bay had been emptied, allowing us to go and investigate quite far from the shore, which we discovered an army of crabs that looks like they were migrating somewhere. After our delicious lunch at Payam Cabana, we decided to explore the island a bit since we have all the time in our hands. And as we were exploring the beach, we found this sweet little sea snail couple. It looks like one was holding the other's tail. And then suddenly, this hater showed up and ruined their romantic moment. Wait a minute, did I just witness some sort of a sea drama? Then, we discover this peaceful beach where we think it's the best place to chill on this island. Monkey Bay, or Ao Guang Bi. We came back over and over again for a complete relaxation and snorkeling where we also found lots of marine life and we happened to capture some on camera. You can see our Monkey Bay full video as provided link. With our little scooter bike, we went further on the southwest of the island to Aoyai and chilled out at a bar by the beach for a while before moving back on the Buffalo Bay to watch the sunset there. As we were walking along the beach here, we heard some animal sounds like monkeys coming around the end of this bay where the trees were. And then we saw some movement as we came closer. And when we looked up, we saw many white fluffy bottoms of friendly hornbills that seemed to just hang around in this area. It would be a good idea to go kayaking to Kokam, which is so close we can actually walk to it on low tide. According to Google Maps, we can do that from Kopayam Resort. What Google didn't say was, the resort was hiding behind the hill, so we had to walk over the hill to what looked like a secluded beachfront resort behind the hill. But after all the hard work and sweats from climbing up the hill, as we walked along this nice pathway, unaware that visitors are not welcome here, someone rude stopped us and asked where did we think we were going in the most unpleasant and hostile way. We later discovered from that unpleasant man that the tide was too high and too strong to cross over to Gokkam at that moment. So we were sent off the pathway to the beach. What a pity, got cameras right there. Finally, we found an opportunity to kayak here in a much more still water at Buffalo Bay. We were very welcome at the Sun Resort where we hired our kayak at only 100 baht per hour. Guess what we found when we came back? We were told to save two birds feeding here on Buffalo Bay, but we didn't know where. 
and we've been looking around trying to find the place where they do that. And look, we found it. <laughs> By coincidence. Even though we missed the trips to nearby islands and that we were a bit unfortunate because things didn't go as planned for us, we still had a lot of fun in Gopayam. Don't forget to watch our Monkey Bay episode, the highlight of this trip. I hope you like this episode as much as I do. Stay tuned for more. Bye now!